Nearly 10 months ago, dozens of properties were damaged and two Lackawanna County residents were killed by flash flooding. And today, the city of Scranton announced some steps forward to bring relief to those whose homes were left in ruins. 2822 News reporter Julie Dunphy joins us now live in Scranton with more. Julie? Nick, Candace, good evening. This is a significant milestone for property owners like this one behind me here because their property, their home has set empty, condemned for the last 10 months since that flash flooding occurred in September. Uh, very severely damaged, like all of the homes here, uh, nine of them really on North Merrifield Avenue in the Kaiser Valley area. Uh, the city of Scranton is looking to purchase and acquire 18 homes and three vacant lots that were damaged in September and all of the pro properties sit in the Kaiser Valley and North Scranton areas. A grant of more than $2 million would provide the funding for the acquisition and demolition of all of these properties on North Merrifield Avenue, Jackson Street, Leggett Street, and Mary Street. All of the properties sustained substantial damage during the flash flooding on September 9th in 2023. This funding is through the 2023 Building Resilient Infrastructure and Communities or BRIC program, and it's a really good sign for property owners compared to previous attempts for federal aid that were all denied. It changed everybody's life here across the creek, west side in a couple areas forever. Um, and unfortunate, this is a part of natural disasters that happen. When we did get down to the people that were affected, um, the houses were just, just, were just filled with mud. Uh, people were just devastated. Now, there will be a public meeting on this project later in the month, as well as other storm mitigation projects throughout the rest of the city uh, coming up in the next couple of months as well. For now, reporting live in Scranton, Julie Dunphy, 2822 News. Nick, Candace. Thank you, Julie.